here with Scrap and Abby, and this is a long-awaited haul video slash unboxing to share with all of you. I purchased all the goodies in here from scrap, uh, scrap baking, oops, scrap baking, <laughs> scrap booking made simple, and um, I bought bought all these goodies. I think, I think it was shortly after Thanksgiving. I can't remember exactly. But when I made the purchase, they did say on their website that they would not be fulfilling the orders from this massive sale they had until January sometime because they were doing a lot of Black Friday sales, things like that. So this actually arrived um, while I was in Oregon during the month of May. So I'm really excited to can, um, kind of get into this and share with you. What, uh, what all I bought. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a sec. I'm going to cut all this open and we'll get right into it. Okay, they had that box jam-packed with everything I bought. And to be honest with you, this is almost like Christmas for me because I don't remember I don't remember every, every single item I bought since this was from way back in November. So I'm really excited. Um, I see a lot of Timmy stuff. My girl Michelle Scott wore Tim Girls for sure. So I'm excited to share those different punches with you. So I'm just going to... Um, just going to start on the top here. So I ordered some of the Daniel Smith um, paint samples. And I ordered two different ones. I want to see what they call them specifically. So it's the Extra Fine Watercolor. Oh, wait. That's not true. Oh, they sent this to me as an extra, I think, because I actually bought some watercolor from Daniel Smith. So this is really cool. Now, I've had these bef um, before. I'll try to link the video down below where I'm showing you how I make a tonal swatch of this. But Daniel Smith watercolors are just gorgeous. So those are the two little sample sheets that I, um, I got in my order. I'll put those off to the sides so I don't accidentally toss them. And since I'm talking about watercolor, these are the two different um, watercolors from him I purchased. Man, that print is so tiny. Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors. I got one in Rose of Ultramarine and then Amethyst Genuine. So these are really, this are really, really cute tiny little tubes. So I'll be adding these to my watercolor pans for sure. I want to do some Traveler's Notebook journaling and such with the watercolor. So I'm very excited to get into that project. Okay, so this is some of the Distress Stain from Tim Holtz. This is Wilted Violet. And since I'm a purple girl, I'm trying to build up all my purple stuff from Timmy. Uh, these are some stamps from Kaiser Craft. I, they don't have the pricing on the, um, the um, you know, packing list. I wish they did because all of this stuff was a screaming, screaming deal, which is why I grabbed up a bunch of things. I didn't buy everything I wanted to, but I, you know, because there's so many good sales, tried really tried to take advantage of the dies, stamps, and the punches for sure, because those items can be, you know, fairly pricey. So this is the background um, wood grain from Kaiser Craft. Sorry for the glare there. Really nice big stamp. I'm really excited to have that in my um, stamp collection, I guess you could say. <laughs> I do use them. Um, so this, let's see, some of these have price tags on them, but I know, know I didn't pay this price for it. Like this one has $6.99. I did not pay that much for this, even though that's a really good price, I think. Um, so this is, just ha has the designer's name on it. Really, really pretty. Um, love the four of the florally things here, and this, and the and a bright idea kind of a light. Very nice. I'm really excited to get into, um, some projects using these stamps. This one is Art of Life. Life, Love, Note, Date. Sorry, the glare. I'm looking through my viewfinder and that glare right there, it makes it hard for me to, to read it. So I can turn my lamp just a little bit over that way, see if that helps. Um, and the middle one says, there is always, always something to be th thankful for. And I love this. This is the reason why I bought this particular stamp kit. I have a daily gratitude journal that I write in at the end of the day once I document um, how my day w went with pain wise or whatever. So I love this. I try to be thankful of a list of things every day, no matter how big or how small. So I love that stamp. I'm definitely going to be using that in my gratitude journal. This one is hashtag me. You can kind of read what the little sentiments say. I love these. This is going to be great for some background texture on some projects. So I'm really looking forward to getting into those. And this one is the Kaleidoscope Acrylic with some butterflies and some tags. I'll hold it up there so you can pause it and read that if you want to do so. It's hard for me to do it through the viewfinder, so I'll just hold it up there. Really fun stamp set. I'm really, really excited about this. And this one I love because I got the We Are Memory Keepers typewriter for my birthday last November. And I love this. And I've been 
typing on some vintage uh, typewriter paper and all different kinds of mediums and this is going to be great to accent um, those journal inserts and letters to friends and stuff with this stamp set so I'm really excited about that. This one is Fiesta. Love this here that like a big doily um, it could even be like a mandala or something if you wanted to. This is gorgeous so really excited to play with this one too. I'm excited to play with all of them. Let's just, let's just say that. So these are the, this is the Chase Rainbows. Love this ink blot with the little drippies right there. Love, love, love that. And then here's like half of a doily. Um, a little ink spot there. It says Shine Bright. And then a couple sentiment stamps here at the bottom. Love these. Okay, this one is Betsy's Couture. And I love having different types of sentiments, um, stamps in my collection because, you know, whenever I'm making cards and stuff for either um, commission pieces or I'm doing it for craft fairs or just sending them out for gifts or whatever, I like to have a variety. So I'm not always having like the same 10 sentiments on a particular card theme or whatever. I hope that makes sense. This one is beautiful. So got some little border strips there. And some more. This looks like, like a, a um, it could be like a mandala too. I love it. So cool. And some butterflies with different sizes and different textures on them. And then a sentiment stamp right there as well. And this one is, yeah, so see this? I paid $1.99 for these stamps. That's how much I couldn't remember. I knew it was under a cup. I knew it was $3 or less. So all of these stamps I got for $1.99. I mean, I about fell over when I saw that sale. And um, so this one is, let's pull this tag off so I can tell you what the name of this stamp is. Well, oh, it's called Oh So Lovely right there. And has the birdcage. Loving the crown. I have a huge metal crown I have on my hutch. I love it. It's, it's that shape. So really, really cool stamps. I like that. And then this one here is Secret Garden, another one, one of these large um, centerpieces or circle pieces, excuse me, all kinds of different sentiments, friends, are the family we choose, and I love this stamp, so happy this this was in this particular package, so, because that is so very true, very, very true, um, this one here is true love, it's past Valentine's Day, but it doesn't matter, because, you know, I can make different things for next year, if I'm going to be working on craft fair projects or things like that, and to be honest, um, you know, let's see here. Thank you. Yeah, so this is the only one that screams Valentine's Day. You could totally say I love you to friends, family, whenever you want. I mean, I say it to our little Dots and Bella. And for someone special, that'd be great to use as some creative packaging. And that one says thank you. And I love these little floral sprays. They're so cool. I'm learning how to um, doodle and kind of draw those kinds of things. I found a really awesome gal on YouTube who does a fantastic job of explaining it. She goes slow and I, I really love it. So any, any of these items that I'm sharing with you, the stamps, the dies, or the punches, if there's a particular set that you're interested in, comment below and let me know and I'll look through these and I'll write the item number down. I didn't want to do it for every single thing just in, just in case that might be boring for most of you, but let me know and I'm more than happy to um, find that for you. So these are some different memory box dies. Um, this one is, they put it on the back side? Yeah, this one is Zinnia Bouquet. And this has some really gorgeous flowers. I mean, look at how detailed and intricate these are right here. Love, love these. What I need, what I need to purchase, I forgot, is the um, Sizzix little roller thing that um, is, it's, it's an accessory, excuse me, it's an accessory for the different die stamps that have the intricate little bits like this. And you roll it over and then the pieces pop out. So I need to get one of those because it is really time consuming to try to pick out each one. So this one is a Brilliant Circle Border Background. And then this is really cool. I thought this would be kind of interesting to use on a canvas um, project idea that's been kind of floating around in my head. So I'll be sharing that one soon. And this one is Brilliant Circle Border Outline. And this is really cool too. I thought this would be kind of cool to use some um, some sort of like time period piece like maybe um, um, steampunk or even like Victorian or something like that. I have something in mind for those too. I don't have any um, alphabet tags like this or little little words. This one is called Cirque, Cirque Alphabet Tags right there. 
I like that font. Kind of hard to read for me anyway, but I like it. This is a really, really cool die too, so I'm excited to play with all of these goodies. This one is Kaleidoscope Butterfly. So, really cute butterfly there. Again, real intricate and detailed. I love that. And this is Modern Stems. I'm showing you the back side because it might be easier than reading the front side. So, very cool. So, I'm very excited about those stamps. Now, these are from um, Sizzix. I'm going to put these behind me here so I can continue to have more room. So, this... Ooh, so this is these are the Thinlets Plus. This is by designed by Linda Knace. I'm not sure you say that name, last name, but this is the whole alphabet, and there's 26 dies in here. I got a screaming deal for these, and it comes with the envelope too. So for storage, awesome. I cannot remember how much I paid for these, but I know that they were less than half the sale price. It was an awesome deal that I just stumbled across when I was doing some online um, shopping for Black Friday. So and that's. It's an example of um, what you can use those for. So I love the font of this. Very, very cool. And then I grabbed up the Framelits Plus, and these have 16 dies in this pack. This is the Fishtail Banners, and I'm not sure what they call them. The number, this, that's the number right there. But this is really cool. Look how huge these are. This is so awesome. So um, I think it's really, really cool how big these dies are, and I love the size. Just imagine the gorgeous banners and decor pieces and wall hangings you can make with, with that. So very excited to play with those. Now on to the punches, which is the last part of my haul. i got to take a sip of some water. Pardon me there. Okay. These were also like half their price. I mean, I just could not believe it. Um, so sorry, I grabbed up some of the ones that were my most favorite. Why is there two of that one? Oh, okay. So it's a bit different. So this is the, hmm, what's the name of this one? Um, well, they don't. I don't see a name on this one here, so I'm just going to hold up the um, item number, just in case you're interested in that one. Hopefully you can read that. Let me do it on the back side. It's a little bit easier to read. So there's that one. This is a really cool kind of botanical piece, like a branch or, you know, um, a leaf, or a leaf, a stem or something for, for like a a fl uh, flower you can ma make yourself. Sorry, my facial pain is so bad right now. Um, but I'm going to just keep pushing through, so I apologize in advance if I sound like I'm stuttering or I can't pronounce words right or whatever. It's part of, part of having the left side of my face numb. It's really difficult. I'm very self-conscious about it, so I don't know. Sorry for that. <laughs> I'll try to just ignore, ignore it the best I can. So here's the item number for this punch here. And that's the, I love this because this is like, you know, a really cool kind of a branch die. And you can see how big the piece, oh, I should have showed you on this one too on the back side, how big the dies are. So when you punch them out, the pieces. This one, I got a couple different snowflakes because I really don't have any good snowflake punches or even dies. And this is a really good price. And I love everything to molds, of course. Um, there's that item over there. This is a really cool snowflake design. And that's the size of it right there. And then this is the other one. That's the item number for this one. And there's the die itself. And there's that one. And this was is an uh, like a leaf, kind of like a I don't, know, I don't know if it's like a maple leaf at all or or what it is, but that's the size of it there on the die. Or excuse me, the punch. And there is the image of it. This one is I think what I. Okay, it's kind of coming back to me why I selected the punches I, I did. Because I don't have a lot of foliage, um, botany type of stuff in the two snowflakes I mentioned. So these are all like different stems and leaves and twigs and things like that. So I, I'm slowly remembering why I bought all these things. Because <laughs> like I said, it was, it was back in November. So it's hard for me to remember back that far when I was doing some Christmas shopping as well. And then this last one, that's the item number for this one here. And this is the size of the punch. I love these. I am so, so excited to be um, working on some different projects and things like that. So I'm very excited about this. So this is my purchase purchase from Scrapbooking Made Simple. I'm going to hold up my packing slip so you can kind of see the scrapbookymadesimple.com. They just signed up for their newsletter. Um, that's how I found about this awesome sale they had because I just get 
I, you t I think it's about just one a day. I don't think it's multiple newsletters a day or, you know, ads of what they have on sale or whatever. But um, this was just a fantastic steal, and I wanted to buy more, but I was Christmas shopping for other people, not my for myself. <laughs> so I got a pretty good amount of stuff, I have to say. So um, thanks, everybody, for watching. And like I said, if there are any of these the dies, the punches, or the stamps so you would like to get the item number, please comment below and let me know, and then I will pull those out and list those for whoever wants to know that information. And um, I will be adding another watercolor video to the, to the playlist I have. I think it's just called Watercolors, I think, or something like that. And I'm doing a tonal swatch with these and then putting these into the pan and kind of kind of um just having some creative play so thanks so much for watching everybody happy scrapping happy planning and happy crafting and i'll see you in my next video bye i did want to mention a couple things um that i did not remember to do until after turn off the camera <laughs> typical for me so um these stamps all have or excuse me punches all have his signature on the back which I think is really really cool and the fact that this is a slide locking bar to where you can store your punches like this or let me get this moved over here Ooh, there we go and that's how you open up the punches so I like this kind of a locking mechanism on my punches I think it's awesome that Sizzix does that because this is a nice thin sleek way to store my punches in my current um, storage solution for those versus, versus when it's open like that. So just wanted to share that with you. Thanks everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!